Let's do some holes. So for these holes, I like to come in and add my center marks. And I like to do linear center marks first for this one right here. This linear center mark shows that all of these are connected and related. That way, if you dimension one, it's not, it's, it's, it's explicit. It's not just assumed that those are lined up, it's explicit. Click OK, run it again, and for this one, I'll do a circular line. And it's not completely clear, you know, because you've got a bunch of holes kind of randomly placed. It's not completely clear that this is a three hole pattern, but there we go, now it's much clearer. All right, let's put in some holes, uh, hole callouts, I mean. So for hole callouts, it's going to derive from either the geometry or the feature, whichever one is available. So for this hole right here, I click on it and it says, okay, I see four of them. I see the size and they are all through all. That could have been derived from the feature. It could have been derived just from the geometry. You know, if this was cut with an extrude cut or maybe extruded out with circles, you know, missing, um, that would still automatically calculate something like that. Something more complicated, like this tapped hole, that's not going to uh, pull everything like that if it was a dumb feature, but because it was a hole wizard feature, it pulled in all the information. It says there's two holes, but there's actually three. This is a side effect of these holes being made differently. The reason they were made differently is in the final part, the die cast part, this hole was on a different face than these two. So then when we extruded it up to kind of adjust where everything landed and we cut away some material, these ended up with <clears throat> an extra near side countersink and this one does not have it. So this is something I'm gonna do and you guys can tell me or kind of talk amongst yourselves, is this okay? Now. Traditionally, right, strictly speaking, it's never okay to override a dimension value. Some companies are okay with things like, you know, numbers, right? Because if you've got three over here and four over here, you could just say seven and call it good because it's those are all together. But you do then have to pay attention to make sure that those don't maybe get changed later and then the drawing is wrong. Every company has a different level of sort of comfort for modifying the drawing and modifying the annotations therein. Here's one 350 minimum. Since it's minimum, it's literally a one-sided thing. It's a through hole. I'm gonna reduce the tolerance on that one. Here's 213 through. This one is not showing 3x. I'm not clear exactly why it didn't show 3x, but this one, I'm gonna go ahead and type that in myself. And again, you know, as a company, you really need to talk these things out and decide whether that's okay. 